Good morning everyone, it's day four of the Hercules bike tour around the Peloponnese in Greece and the bike is packed and ready to go. The time's about nine o'clock, a little bit before. That's what the sky looks like. A couple of clouds but nothing serious. I think there's a bit of rain overnight which is quite good, hopefully it's going to bring the temperatures down. And that's the walls of Tiryns in the background there which I showed you in my last video. So today's route, um, I've got a couple of options. One is an 80 kilometer day and the other is a 100 kilometer day. They both involve pretty serious uh, steep ascents, so I'm just going to see how I feel and as I get on. For the first section though, I've got to backtrack to Mikines and take it from there. So I'm going to give you some clips from the road and talk to you in a bit. There. So as you can see from the signpost in front, ancient Cleones or Cleones is signposted to the right and ancient Nemea is signposted to the left. Now I'm just going to walk back to the bike and I'm going to turn around and I'll explain why I've made a note of that. So as you've just seen, I've come to a junction in the road between ancient Cleones and ancient Nemea. Now ancient Cleones is just mentioned in passing in one version of Her the Hercules and the Twelve Labours myths that I've read. And basically Hercules um, put down his beer there and said, I'm going to slay the lion, I'll be back, hold that. And then he went to Nemea and slayed the lion. So I'm not going to go to Cleones itself, but I do want to make a mention of it. Uh, the reason being that Cleones was responsible for the sanctuary of Nemea. So Nemea itself was actually a sanctuary. And I believe that uh, games uh, like uh, Olympic Games were held there. We're going to go and check it out if it's open and I'll be able to show you around. So basically Cleones uh, was the like main city or town and it was responsible for the sanctuary of Nemea. And if you remember back to one of my theories about what the Hercules myths about the 12 uh, labours are all about, I mentioned that perhaps he was going around defeating champions in the different city-states. So that kind of supports that. Anyway, it's two kilometres to Nemea, so I'm going to cycle there and I'll show you around. I've reached the site of ancient Nemea and it's split into two sections. The first section, which I'm at now, is the ancient stadium of Nemea. And this was a stadium used in their games. And I don't know if you can see here, but this is a second myth about the origins of the games, which says that Hercules instituted the games to offer thanks to Zeus for helping him accomplish the first labor of killing the lion. So let's go and check out the stadium. So this is a tunnel leading through to the stadium and somebody just kindly pointed out that there might be some graffiti here. There we go. Perhaps one of my Greek friends can tell me what that says. And there might even be more here, so I'm going to try and keep my eye out as I walk through. So it looks like there's some repair work gone on, obviously. Okay, a light at the end of the tunnel. So this is the stadium area. Been to a few stadiums, uh, one at Olympia, one at Delphi, all over really. Let's take you to one end. Well, there's not much of the stadium left. You can see here, this is like water drainage, I suspect. And 
and that's the outline of the track. Apparently it was 600 ancient feet long. Let's see if these signs say anything over here. Ah, I read that somewhere they still have uh, a Nemean Games here. It's probably worth a, a Google online if you're interested to check it out. And apparently it's held in the same sort of spirit as the original games would have been. Not sure if they perform naked, because apparently that's what they did in the ancient times. So I guess up here would have been some seats that have either been destroyed or whatever. Okay, so there's not much to show the stadium. I'm going to go down to the other temple section now, the other main part of the site. Or we could say that that is the centerpiece of the site, which is the remains of the Temple of Zeus. I'm not sure how much of that has been reconstructed and put together. If you see here, all these sections are sections of column that have collapsed over the years. That one's split in half. Now, this is probably a good one to show. You can see the hole in the middle. So apparently they poured molten uh, metal down here, so there would have been holes through all of them, like that. And then the metal would have kept them together. Not sure I would have wanted to put the top ones up there. I wonder if they had some sort of crane to help them out. Obviously not a mechanical one, but uh, maybe they had some sort of manual crane that was helping them out. So what I've learned about the site then is that it was uh, a sanctuary or classed as a sanctuary. So it's classed as neutral ground. There doesn't seem to be much emphasis on a holy aspect of it. It's more to do with the games that would have been held. The first thing I read said held every two years. But I'm not sure if that changed to every four years afterwards. There are a few wells for water here. Again, not sure if that would be because water was considered holy or if it was just because it was needed for all the athletes that would be competing. So in terms of Hercules and the 12 labours, this area is where he was said to have defeated the lion, the Nemean lion. He may have built this temple and the site in honour of, of Zeus and in recognition of being given the strength to defeat the lion. Uh, the lion, of course, is a constellation. And we have a sanctuary. So we'll keep all that in mind as I visit the other sites and see if there's any links between them all. And this was another slaying. So if we, I was at Lerner before, and obviously he killed the Lenean Hydra, and he's killed the Nemean lion here as well. Okay, so it's about one o'clock, I think it's time for lunch, and then I need to decide what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Uh, if I'm gonna go to Stymphalian Lake, or go a little bit further. I'll see, catch you in a bit. Check out those hills. Beautiful. The only slight problem is my route takes me up most of those, I think. So we'll see how that goes. There's even snow on one of those mountains over there. Don't know if the camera can pick it up past this petrol station. And whilst I'm going downhill now and it's awesome, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to go back up at some point. Anyway, I'm going to say it again. Look at them views.
I've started to climb up into the hills now. Probably leaving the vineyards of Namia behind. Just coming through olive groves now. We'll see where the road takes me today. So I've come to the top of one summit, but it looks like I've got plenty to go. Certainly beautiful. Not sure I'd want to be doing this in July or August. It's crazy hot then. I think the temperatures are about right now. I mean, it's warm, but it's not insane. I can also imagine that at night the temperatures are going to drop a little bit. Not too sure what I'm doing in terms of where to stay yet. Not sure if I'm wild camping. Uh, not sure if I'm going to find like a, a cheapy place to stay in a small village. I think that's fairly unlikely actually. But I've got about another five hours of daylight left. Don't really want to cycle all of that to be fair, but uh, well, we'll see what happens. this little fountain. Not 100% certain if the water is going to be drinkable but you'd think so if it's a fountain wouldn't you? Let's see if the tap works. Awesome. Okay I can at least fill my bottle. Looks like I've got a nice downhill section to come now but can you see where the road goes up up there? If it comes back in focus. I think I've got to go up there. It's a bit of a sod isn't it? So this is the Stymphalian Lake, at least what's left of it. If you can see right over there, there's some water and pretty much that's what's left of it. So basically it was a swampy area and over time it's just turned into a very fertile area to do some farming. And this is the area where Hercules defeated the Stymphalian birds as one of his labours. Now there is an archaeological, archaeological site here, if I can get my words out, and it should be over there somewhere, but I'm unsure at the minute as to if I'm going to have time to get to it today, because time's getting on, it's about five o'clock. Uh, I could do with something to eat and I'm going to need to find somewhere to camp or to stay as well. So I'm going to need to play this by ear. If I, didn't, if I don't get a chance to visit the archaeological site, then I will try and do some research on it and like leave it in the description of this video or something like that. And hopefully I can return and see it one day. But it could be that I see it either today or tomorrow, we'll see. That's what happens when you bike tour and you can't really have firm plans. Anyway, it's a very beautiful view. I've certainly earned the view because there was a little bit of hill work involved. So now I'm going to go down into the village of Stymphalian and hopefully there's going to be a taverna in there. Speaking of it. Okay, look where I ended up for the night. I asked in a taverna if there was like a little hotel or something in town, and there was. So I thought I'd come and check it out. And it is way over my budget. Not that I've got one, I'll talk about the budget in a minute. But this is a pretty special place. And look at that view. Look at that view. It's a little cafe there as well over the road. So this is basically a little apartment or chalet all to myself. Let's take you in. Looks very posh inside. Look at that. It's got a nice comfortable sofa, a TV that will probably never get used. Lovely, lovely beds. I've not actually been in the bathroom yet. Let's see what it's like. Oh, yeah. Very nice bathroom. And it's got a little kitchen area. It's a shame I've not got anything to cook with me actually. Maybe I'll try and pop to a shop or something. 
take you outside again. So yes, for this bike tour, I've not really set myself a budget. I mean, obviously I don't want to go crazy and spend like a hundred euros a day. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to be the beggar at the banquet. So for example, Mikines was 12 euros to enter. On some tours, I might have undenied about it and maybe not gone in. And I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to worry about things like that. This place is 50 euros a night, which is much more than I would normally spend traveling by myself. But on the other hand, it's really nice. I'm going to wake up to that view in the morning. Anyway, that's the end of the day's ride. I think it was uh, about 70 kilometers in total, but I'll put it in the description beneath. And tomorrow I'm heading to the coast to a campground at Akrata Beach. So if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.